proper good morning everyone i feel like i've gotten loads of clips so far this morning but i've not actually said hi or spoken to you i've had the loveliest start to my day it is wednesday morning we've got another beautiful bright sunny day here in the uk i don't think it's technically classed as a heat wave day but it is still really really warm so i started my day with just a little walk around the garden just listening to the bird song the sound the sounds from my garden in the morning are just spectacular like before anyone's awake when the world is just kind of starting to wake up and the birds are just chirping away it's literally my favorite thing in the world so i had a little walk around the garden and then i went for another early morning swim this morning hence why my hair has gone a little bit fluffy because i washed it after swimming again and i'm not gonna lie i am going to be struggling if i am going to keep swimming as much as i am because i feel like my hair is going to need washed pretty much every single day that i go for a swim if anyone has any advice for going swimming and not getting your hair wet at all i would really really appreciate it because even if i have it up in a bun and i just do breaststroke i don't know what it is but like just the back of my hair does end up getting a little bit wet and then i feel like the chlorine kind of like seeps up and i don't want to not wash my hair if it has been like chlorinated so if anyone has any advice other than having to wear a swim cap because not really a vibe i'd rather not have to like faff around with swim caps um but i don't mind having to wash my hair a little bit more often throughout the summer months but it has gone a little bit fluffy this morning but i've just made myself my morning coffee and i think i'm going to sit outside for about an hour and just crack on with some admin and email bits because as you can hear the birds are still chirping away and it really is just my favorite thing in case you're wondering why none of the cushions were on the outdoor furniture pieces this morning it's because i always every single evening really make an effort to make sure to take the cushions in um it's the cushion on my swingy chair and the sofa cushions they are obviously outdoor cushions they are meant to be outside they are weatherproof and things like that but it is advised every single evening to take them either inside or to get a storage container for them we've got like a big storage box which is really really handy to have um and it just kind of like protects them a little bit from like that dew that you get in the morning i mean obviously they can get wet but it's not advised for them to get wet especially this one it's a little bit more fabricy, so i find that if that does get wet i do worry about it getting like a little bit smelly and not being able to like i don't know i feel like it's just going to prolong the life of it if i just kind of make sure to maintain it as best as possible so every evening they come in and every morning they can go back out but i'm already outside and as you can see it's so so warm this morning so i think i'm going to set up camp to do a couple of emails honestly i can't believe how warm it already is i think it's going to be another scorcher of a day i won't lie at the pool this morning it actually warmed up the outdoor pool a little bit at the club and i kind of missed how cold it was the other day because even though like obviously you get that sharp intake of breath when you first come in and it's like a little bit shocking the second you start swimming it's just so nice and refreshing and it was a little bit warmer this morning and i was like oh, i kind of miss that like cold morning wake up but um no it was a really really lovely swim and i've also just realized that i haven't actually given you any context to this you may have seen this as i was giving you a little tour of the garden this morning i have a broom sticking out of my wisteria and it is actually quite a funny story alex is literally calling it ellie versus pigeon um and basically i don't know if you guys will remember if you've been following it since last year but we actually ended up you can probably hear there is a pigeon that nests nearby who is very vocal this morning but if you remember last year which had a pigeon nest in our wisteria and i let it happen because by the time we'd found the nest it had eggs in it so we obviously weren't going to disturb the eggs we weren't going to disturb the family but so many of you warned me i was a little bit excited at first i was like oh cute we're gonna have baby pigeons so many of you were like don't let it nest do not let it because it becomes so messy and they are kind of here in the uk kind of pests i guess is the best way to describe them like they're not very clean birds compared to some of the other birds so so many of you were like do not let it happen so as soon as those babies had kind of hatched and flown the nest quite literally um we made sure to take it down and just kind of like monitor and we've had a couple of pigeons recently that have been trying to nest here and obviously we don't want it to happen again because it was such a mess like it was kind of disgusting and it also meant that no one wanted to like sit underneath the pergola because you kind of always had the like 
you knew there was like always a pigeon literally right above you and there was like a lot of mess on the floor a lot of bird poop and things like that so we are really really trying to make sure that they do not nest and obviously we want to do it in as humane a way as possible another reason is there's also quite a lot of cats around here that just kind of like wander between the gardens a lot of my neighbors have cats and they climb over the pergola and obviously if a bird's going to be nesting there that's not very safe if a cat finds them and we do not want anything tragic to happen to the poor baby birds so we've been trying to stop the birds from nesting and other than like literally coming out every single day and taking down the nest and like destroying all their hard work the best way i found is basically to like i was reading online and loads of people said to kind of like use spikes and things like that and i didn't want to do that but a lot of people basically said as long as you kind of like poke a pole through the space where they're nesting that should stop the bird because obviously they don't have anywhere to kind of like properly land and nest um and the only pole that i had was a broom so i've literally just stuck this broom through the wisteria and it seems to be working for now they don't seem to be trying to nest in here again so i'm gonna see how long we need to leave this up for it might need to be for the most part of summer and i just have to take it down every time we have a garden party or have people around but um for now we have a broom sticking out of our wisteria in order to stop the pigeons from nesting in there and um yeah currently ellie versus pigeon it is ellie one pigeon zero i am going to crack on with my admin and email bits enjoy my iced coffee and soak up the morning sunshine right so a couple of hours of emails and admin done and i feel a little bit antsy now like i always feel like a couple of hours on my laptop and i want to get moving i always say to alex i don't know how he does an office job because i feel like i would get so fidgety because whenever i have like admin hours after a couple of hours i always just want to like get moving and do something different i'm sorry if you can hear a little bit of background noise but i have opened up the windows in here and this room is like at the front of the house you can sometimes hear a little bit of cars and things like that whenever people are going past but it's worth it to get a little bit of a breezing because already it is a warm warm day not complaining i am loving how sunny and beautiful it has been i've just been loving living in the garden basically at the moment and one thing that i really want to do today is something that i feel like usually i would have done way back in like the beginning of may i feel like it's been such a weird year weather wise like we literally had winter kind of spring weather all the way up until mid may and then it kind of a switch was flicked and suddenly we were in like the height of summer the height of summer like it literally went from about 10 degrees to like 29 degrees within the space of about two weeks so i feel like we've not really gone through the kind of usual adjustment period that we often have when it comes to like the british seasons in britain especially i find down here in hampshire we have such distinct seasons and we usually have like very elongated periods in between the seasons like big transitional periods and you know i talk about the transitional periods a lot because i really really love them and i love having like a little bit of time to get ready for each kind of season i do feel like autumn like you've really got that time to like get ready for the coziness of winter and usually in spring you've got a lot of time to get ready for the like the heat the hosting the kind of like vibe of summer but this year we just not had that chance so i'm kind of going to do a little bit of a back step here because i kind of want to spend today getting everything ready for summer like the house my wardrobe like i feel like i've been working really really hard on the garden but also like bringing that inside and making sure that the inside is reflective of the outside i know i speak about that a lot but that is one of the things that i just love about seasons here in the uk is being able to kind of like reflect your surroundings in your home as well and i want to start in this room one of the things that i usually get a big chance to do is go through let me um show you my shelves i feel like i've not changed up my shelves in so so long and normally i like them to be really really seasonal and if you look closely especially like the colors and stuff they're kind of looking a little bit wintry to me so i feel like it might be quite nice to bring in a few kind of like natural tones some more like lighter brighter spring summer colors and also one of the things that i want to do is basically have a little bit of a sort through of my bags because i didn't quite realize how many new bags i've been adding into my wardrobe until i went into this wardrobe the other day and it is just a 
little bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie to you. My shoe basket down here is just an absolute state, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like this usually just had sunglasses in, but currently it's got like contacts. I've got my um, like hair basket, which is just a little bit of a mess. And I've basically run out of room for my handbag. So I just want to have a really big sort out and just make sure I've got like everything as neatly as possible. It's as easily accessible as possible. And I'm just utilizing like all of the space in this room. So I think I'm gonna start with these shelves over here and just give them a little bit of a summer spruce up. productive hour or so later and oh my goodness me the difference in this wardrobe is unbelievable i am so so happy with how it is looking i have completely organized my shoe basket i know this isn't the best way to store shoes but to be perfectly honest i just don't really have any other options if anyone has some really good ideas for like very um like small space shoe storage i am all ears but i managed to kind of clear it out so it's just summer shoes in there i've got contacts there because i can't really do anything about that and all of my glasses in here we have um hair bits there so we've just got like dry shampoos and you know hair dry and things like that and then three <laughs> three shelves of bags i'm not gonna lie i didn't realize how many new bags i'd added into my summer wardrobe until i was kind of going through them um i think i maybe need to start doing a one in one out system because i don't ever want to get to the point where i just have so many bags that i don't ever use um whereas all of these bags i still do use i mean they're very seasonal obviously i'm not reaching for my a basket bag in the depths of winter so i've kind of just like pulled my more summery bags forward and then like my more wintry handbags like my louis vuitton my ysl my mulberry those have kind of gone towards the back so i'm not reaching for them as much and then i've cleared this shelf out for my two taller handbags so we've got my ysl basket bag and then my mulberry base water so looking so so good in there and then behind me the shelves have just had such a good just really minimal summer update i feel like i've just changed up a few things just to kind of like bring the colors and tones more into summer i really love the layout so i've not really changed that all too much and i never want there to be too much on these shelves back in the like you know back in the day um i used to always basically try and make it as like filled as possible and put as many bags on there as possible whereas now i much prefer it when it's actually a lot more minimal um and we just have a few hands bags um on display and i really really love how this is looking we still have some like black tones um and some like wintry tones but for the most part it is a lot more summery i've also decided to bring out my castagna wedges they were just getting too squished in the basket and as you can see they've kind of like got big folds in them so i, I don't know whether to get some um shoe like stuffers inside so that they keep their shape because there's nothing worse than having some expensive shoes and not looking after them so i've got two pairs down there and then one pair there and they're kind of hidden so they don't look messy because obviously there's so much rope and ribbon on the castagna wedges that i don't want that to be on show so i'm really really happy with how it is looking i feel like this room has just had such a good little upgrade for summer just like really tie it in into the warmer months Bumblebee. 
got you out. Please don't come back in again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just had to help a little bumblebee that was stuck in the um, Velux windows. We get that a lot, unfortunately, in this house. And normally it's Alex's job, but Alex isn't here today. He's in the office. So just managed to get the bumblebee out. So props to me, congrats to me. I do get a lot of questions actually about, especially with regards to the bifold doors, how we keep out like flies and bugs and things like that. And other than lighting citronella candles, kind of don't i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like it's just one of those things that you just kind of accept that there'll be lots of flies and lots of things buzzing about inside of the house but that is part and parcel of living with a bit more of like an indoor outdoor space but the real reason why i had set up the camera and come down to chat to you is because i have just had a new delivery arrive now we've just literally this second sorted out organized and refined my summer shoe collection and that was quite strategic because i knew i'd placed this all now i have not shot on asos in such a long time i feel like it's gotten very gen z recently and i do understand why like they obviously really need to like look at their target audience and kind of like tailor themselves to that and that means that i'm not loving as much on asos at the moment it is also quite an overwhelming website to shop on however I'd seen someone had shared on their stories that my favorite summer shoe was currently 40% off on ASOS. So I will leave them linked down below. I don't know if they will still be on sale, if they will still be in stock, but you guys will know. These are my favorite summer sandal. And I am the epitome of, if I like it, I'll just get it in another color. So I thought we could open this up and I can show you what I picked up. We have not one, not two, but three pairs of this particular shoe because also they are the comfiest summer shoe that I own. And I feel like it can be really, really tricky to style up summer sandals, especially things like slides, flip-flops, things like that, because they can be a little bit difficult in terms of like rubbing, in terms of any kind of like uncomfort. I feel like winter is so much easier because you've always got socks on, you know, it's either like big boots or trainers or things like that. Whereas summer, you can't really like hide, if that makes sense, if your shoes are uncomfortable at all. So if you know me well, you will know that these are the june slides now they are an amazing dupe of the iran sandals i personally don't really think the iran sandals are worth it because i've had a lot of negative reviews about them they're apparently really really difficult to like wear in they'll give you really like loads of blisters when you first start wearing them they're quite big they're not good if you've got narrow feet they're very like wide fitted and i have quite narrow feet so these June slides, I think, are the best alternative. And I know a lot of brands have brought out different kind of like dupes of the Iran sandals. I personally think these June ones are the best on the market. I have tried quite a few different ones. So I thought I would show you the three pairs that I picked up. I'm super, super excited to add these into my wardrobe. Now this next first pair is the most exciting pair and the most out there. And I'm gonna need your guys' help in deciding whether to keep these and whether I will actually get the wear out of them. Because as you can see, they are quite a different color for me. They are this bright green color. Now I'm not gonna lie, on the website, they didn't look quite as like fluorescent as this. They looked like a little bit more of a forest green. So they're a bit brighter than I was expecting, but I thought these might just be really fun for summer. I feel like green is quite a good color to style up in summer, but I'm normally more of a blue guy. I wish they'd done like a really, really gorgeous, like mid royal blue. I would have snapped those up in a heartbeat. The green, I'm not entirely sure if they're the most me, but the fact that they were 40% off, I thought, what is the harm in trying them? They could work really, really well, especially start up with like gorgeous white summer dresses, black summer dresses, a lot of like linen, I feel like would look really, really cool with these. And I just feel like they are one of those shoes that you can wear with absolutely anything. So I thought it might be fun to try something a little bit different, but you may think I have gone mad. So comment down below, keep or return. Okay, this next pair, what color do we have next? Oh, okay. So this I'm really, really excited about because I have a similar version of these, um, but in a different material. So I have the raffia kind of rattan version of these. And I really, really wanted to get just the white leather because I just absolutely love them. And I feel like there is nothing more classic than white for summer, and especially style up with like white dresses. I just love these. And now that I've got a few more like different accessories, I feel like now that I've got my little white raffia bag from Charles and Keith, I really want to like incorporate more white into my summer accessories you guys know what i'm like i love styling up shoes and bags together and i know that's quite an old-fashioned thing to do a lot of people say that it's quite like old and like i don't know um dated 
I personally don't think it is. I think it's really, really classic. And there's nothing that upsets me more than if I'm wearing like black shoes with a tan bag. I love to wear tan shoes, tan bag. So white shoes, white bag. It's just my favorite way to style up. So I felt like the white leather would be a really, really great one to add into my collection. And lastly, the pair that I think I am going to get the most wear out of the tan. Now you guys know I've got my gorgeous little tan slides from Bowdoin. And I do love them. But number one, they are slightly different. I feel like I can justify keeping these because the Bowdoin ones are quite a like deeper tan like they're a little bit darker in color sorry my hair is so soft after washing it today so i've been playing with it a lot so i hope i've not been annoying you guys too much but um yes the bowden ones are a little bit darker in color and also as much as i love them i don't find them as comfortable as the june slide so if i know i'm going to be walking a lot it can be quite tricky to style them up knowing that i'm going to end up with like blisters on the end of my feet by the end of the day so i felt like these would be great if basically i want to wear my tan accessories and i know i'm going to be doing a lot more walking so i'm definitely still going to keep my Bowdoin ones but I thought these were a great addition to add into my wardrobe I love the kind of like croc effect on the leather as well I feel like it's just so so gorgeous and it also has this gold trim which I feel like just adds such a bit of like specialness to the shoes now I really was debating they also had the black and I was this close to ordering them because the black ones that I have I think because of age, I've had them for maybe like three years now. They've started rubbing off like the color and the dye. I do find that by the end of the day, I do have, kind of have like black marks on my feet. So I was really debating whether to like order the black ones, but I figured until the other ones literally die, there's not really much point and I don't see these shoes going anywhere. So I feel like I can probably pick them up maybe next summer would be perfect. I feel like I might wear my black ones until they have literally died a death by the end of this summer and then I can update them and upgrade them for next summer. But I really, really wanted to get my hands on the tan so i've got the tan we've got the white and we've got the green i really am the epitome of if i like it i'll just get it in another color i'm such a creature of habit but i just love these shoes for summer they are so so perfect so i thought i would style up the shoes for you guys and show you how i'm styling them and how they look like on i've also realized i've not actually shown you today's outfit of the day today and i'm loving this dress i won't lie to you i kind of forgot that i had it which is dreadful but it was kind of in like the back of my summer wardrobe and it was like hidden in between a bit more like formal dresses and i discovered it again the other day i was like oh my goodness i need to be wearing this dress right now because it's so lightweight so comfy and it's got the cute cutest little detail on the back this little kind of like roadway on glaze details from Sint and Sophia and I absolutely adore it so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys um but onto the shoes so tan of course going with my Loewe basket bag I just love how they look and as you can see they are such a good dupe of the around sandals they are made really really well like they're really comfortable really durable good quality leather I feel like maybe the reason why my black ones are starting to kind of the dye come off is maybe I accidentally got them wet it's the only thing I can kind of think of because they are a leather so they're obviously not designed to be worn like by the pool or anything like that they're not designed to be gotten wet they can but obviously it's not ideal maybe i should spray them again with a leather spray sorry i'm just like verbal diarrhea i'm thinking out loud here but i might give all of these a quick spray as well just to protect them with my um leather protector spray that might be a good idea but i really really love the tan on these they're a little bit shinier than some of the others but i feel like they go really really well with my loewe basket bag so this is kind of like the pairing that you will always see for summer and then the white pairing as i said my little charles and keith bag i love how they look together i also love the fact that the bag still goes with my raffia ones the ones that are a little bit more natural in tone but i feel like the white are just so so classic i love how this looks as an entirely white outfit i think it's just absolutely gorgeous so definitely going to be keeping these in my wardrobe as well i know i'm such a creature of habit but i feel like when you find something that works when you find something super comfortable beautiful and really really you then you just stick with it now obviously the big question mark is the green pair i'm not entirely sure even which bag i would style them with potentially my new holland cooper because the black tones might work quite well with the green mm, I'm not sure I feel like I wish they were just a little bit dark and a little bit deeper in tone they are quite bright for me so I think these might have to go back but let me know what you think down below do I keep or do I return okay now I'm not sure if this is going to be seen as really savvy or a little bit cheap but what I might actually do is see if I can stuff my um castagna wedges with the stuffing that came with the June slides it's a little bit bigger but mm, no that's not gonna work oh, shame 
Otherwise that would have been a great idea, but I do need to find something that I can stuff these with. So we've got some friends coming around later this evening for dinner and I want to create like a little bit of a tablescape. Unfortunately, my peony bouquet from G&G is slowly dying away. The peonies have definitely gone over, which is really, really sad. However, a few of the flowers still seem to be okay. Like this foliage still seems to be okay. These little pom-pom ones that I really, really like. A couple of the, I never know which ones are the foxgloves and which ones are the snapdragons, but a couple of these white ones are all right as well so what I might do is take the flowers out and create a little bit of kind of like a posy vase of some of the ones that are still okay so that I can still have like a lovely tablescape for when we have our guests over there is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told me Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all Good morning everyone It is the next day now It is Thursday morning and we had the loveliest Loveliest evening with our friends last night I feel like it's so so nice to do sociable things midweek I'm really bad at kind of like leaving being sociable to the weekend and not actually like doing anything during the week and I feel like especially in like autumn and winter in like the wintry months when it gets like really dark like by the time you get home from work it's literally pitch black it can be really really difficult to kind of motivate yourself to like make the most of the evenings but in summer the evenings stretch so much longer and it's so nice to make the most of that and be able to see friends midweek after work and just have like a really really lovely catch-up so we literally just had a quick dinner it was super super easy Alex just did some chicken and rice and then we had a few drinks out in the garden afterwards, which was just chef's kiss. It was so, so lovely. And I've become that granny that's like, let me show you what's in my garden pots. Let me show you what's growing in my garden at the moment. And I'm so excited. You would have seen yesterday, the first dahlia has come up, which is very, very exciting. And it's really nice to have friends that are also into gardening. So I can have a little bit of a wander around with you, give you some tips, some advice. And I have a few more things that I really want to add into the garden and start growing. So um, yeah, it really was just like the loveliest evening yesterday. And I really want to make the most of midweek evenings going forward. So I feel like it's going to be a bit of a more regular occurrence. Something that I think is so nice to do if you are going to be hosting friends, particularly midweek, is to be able to offer some non-alcoholic drinks. I feel like if people are coming around like after work, they then if they've got work the next day, they're not really going to be wanting to drink. So I actually created my own mocktail yesterday and it was delicious. It was really, really well received and literally it was so simple. All I used was this. This is the Robinson's Crushed Lime and Mint Fruit Cordial um, and it's 
kind of mojito-esque as you can see we have literally finished it so I'm gonna have to pick up some more of this um, but it's kind of like a mojito type with the fact that it's got like the mint and the lime in there and basically all I do is I mix it together with some lemonade um, and I just kind of mix that all in together I then will literally use some mint from my own little herb garden over there I'll slice up a few lemons put that in slice up a couple of limes it just creates a really really lovely mocktail I'll also put a lot of ice with it one thing that I'm debating whether to do is to kind of create it almost like a slushy type mocktail so I could could potentially blend up some ice with it as well I think that would be really really cool but it was very well received yesterday so I'm going to pick up some more of this because I feel like this is just the perfect thing when it comes to hosting and I'm actually going to be hosting again this weekend at Fort Father's Day so I think that would be really really nice particularly for like the drivers and things like that um you'll see I've got my new little hydrangeas on the countertop today because my peonies went over so I've got my little bouquet that I um kind of arranged yesterday I didn't actually show you the finished results other than in like a little time lapse but I just took out the foxgloves I took out these little babies and the little um purple flowers and I feel like it just looks like a really lovely wild kind of foliage this is just kind of left over from last night um but just to kind of make sure that this space isn't completely empty I have put my little hydrangeas and this is what I love about having faux flowers is that the second your real flowers die you don't have like an empty space you can kind of fill it with something um so these are the flowers that i got for my birthday and i love them i feel like they look so so cute on the countertop here so plan of action today i've actually got a really really exciting day today i'm actually going to be heading out to a new garden center it's new to me but i don't think it's actually like new new it's called Bambridge, and it's down here in hampshire and i've never been before but i've heard some really really good things and as i said i do want to add a few new things into the garden i feel like becoming a gardener makes you realize that you're never quite finished with the garden and there's always things that you can be like adding always things that you can be doing and I just take so much joy out of it so I'm thinking of adding a few more veg bits into my veg truck I was also watching it was a reel that Josie did who was obviously the queen of gardening and she potted up a few veg bits in pots and I was like blown like my mind was blown because I thought I don't have to put everything into my veg truck so I might get just like a few lovely little terracotta pots to plant up some more veg pieces maybe like some peppers or what was that Alex wanted tomatoes would be really really nice I really would love to do strawberries as well so I might have a little look I'm also going to get some new herbs to replace those ones with so that I can basically completely take out I know I spoke about this before but my herbs are dying because I think the pots just don't have the proper drainage so I'm going to take out the um herbs completely replace them and i'm going to drill holes at the bottom of the pot so that they have much better drainage than before so i will replace all of that and just make sure that it's all nice and fresh and of course it's always nice to have a wander around a garden center and see what flowers are blooming and what i can add into the garden so really really excited for that and outfit of the day for a day of garden center shopping and inevitably doing a little bit of gardening is this gorgeous little phase eight smock dress i showed you this a couple of vlogs ago and i did mention that you could definitely belt it if you wanted to create a little bit more of a silhouette but it is another scorcher of a day it's about 28 degrees today so i figured smock is best for this and i just love how it sits actually i feel like it's a really really lovely lovely smock dress love how it's like a little bit tropical a little bit kind of hawaiian-esque i think it's really really cute and i'm pairing it i'm kind of tying in the tones now i was debating whether to wear my new june slides but sometimes garden centers can be a little bit like wet on the floor they can be a little bit mucky so I didn't want to ruin my new June slides the first time I wore them so I've got my little raffia ones they're like rattan they're a little bit warmer in tone like a little bit less white and a little bit more neutral so they match the print on this absolutely perfectly and I just paired it with my little Chloe basket bags this is such a great bag Alex literally calls this my wine cooler bag because he says it looks like a wine bucket um but it's really really handy because I can just chuck it over my shoulder and have a proper wander around and then I've got my hands free to pick up plants and decide what I want to add into my basket I'm really excited as well because I'm actually going with my mum to the garden center we're having a bit of a mother daughter day so I think it's going to be really really lovely so let's get going we have arrived at Bambridge and honestly I can't tell you how huge this greenhouse is. I mean this is literally the dream. We've got such a gorgeous home section here. I mean look at this wall of mugs. <laughs> 
Oh my God, I love them. This little poppy one is really cute. I love that. Alex has been saying that we need some more serving trays for whenever we are hosting and seeing as they were hosting again this weekend, this might be really great to pick up. They've got a couple of other different shapes. They've got like a square one, another round bowl. I love this collection. It's really pretty. Oh my goodness, if you are looking for a cute little kind of outdoor picnic set, this is gorgeous. Apparently it's bamboo, so it kind of feels really like plasticky, which is perfect for if you're hosting outdoors, if you've got kids. I'm tempted to pick up a few of these cups because we don't actually have enough cups whenever we are hosting people, although I don't know whether it's just worth getting some um, glasses, but I love the olive print. It is so cute. And out to my favorite section. Oh my word, I can't even tell you how big this garden center is. It stretches for miles all the way over there. <gasps> We've got some dahlias here. These are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. They might be lovely to add into the garden. Oh, I have a feeling that I'm going to do a lot of damage to my bank balance here. This is giving me so much inspo for the garden. I love structures. I feel like they just look so cool. They're a really great way of adding like a little bit of height into your garden. because obviously everything's very kind of like vertical. No, horizontal, I always get it wrong. So it's quite nice to get a little bit of height rather than everything kind of being on the ground and on the floor. I love, 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 love that trellis. Never have I seen so many hydrangeas in one place. Oh my goodness me. Wow, look at this rose. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Fun fact, I actually found out that um, apparently this year is the year of the roses um, because of the weather that we've had, because we had such a cold and wet spring, it meant that none of the aphids were able to eat any of the rose buds. So roses have been exceptional this year. So anyone that's been growing roses has basically been laughing because they are just incredible. And they have so many amazing roses oh i'm really tempted to pick some up i don't know how long how much longer they will last for i'm not entirely sure if they're worth it and if they do too well in pots i feel like i need to do like a big sweep i need to go around everything see what they've got and then work out what is best to add into my garden what's going to be doing well in pots and what i can kind of incorporate into my own garden this is the coolest thing that i think i've ever seen at a garden center there's a little goat hello monsieur hello little billy god graf Oh, look at him. Oh, he must be so hot in this weather. <laughs> How cute is this? I do love the idea of getting a sundial to put in the garden, or alternatively, a bird bath, but instead filling it with flowers like they've done here. I feel like that looks absolutely incredible. I don't know where it would go. I feel like if I had a bigger garden, I would definitely do it. But maybe not the best idea with our, just our little box garden. I do love it, but it is quite small, so I think probably not the most practical thing. I made a beeline for this section the second I spotted the salvia and I'm not gonna lie I didn't realize that you can get white salvia that looks absolutely beautiful we've got the classic purple there and then the gorgeous fuchsia pink but maybe I should get some white salvia pots that might look really cute I wish you could smell this jasmine right now. It's just got the littlest flowers, but it smells divine. It reminds me of the jasmine that I spotted when we were in Rhodes. I could smell it before I could even see it. It's one of my favorite, favorite plants because it just fills the air with the most beautiful aroma. I've never seen such an amazing collection of olive trees as well, all the way from these itty bitty little ones that would be great for inside all the way up to these really huge established ones. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love how old and like knotted the trunk is. Oh wow. I found the veg section and one thing I'm not gonna lie, I have always wanted to grow is courgettes, but I'm not entirely sure how much space I need for it because whenever I've seen people growing courgette they always have like really big veg beds and it seems to take over quite a lot so I might have to leave that for this year but that is a dream one day to have the world's biggest veg bed and be able to grow my own courgette. This is making me a little bit sad I won't lie because my lupin has completely gone over. I don't think it liked the soil that I put it in. I'm not entirely sure. I do have quite clay soil in my beds but these gorgeous fuchsia pink lupins are amazing. They are absolutely stunning. And I think I might be spoilt for choice with <laughs> pots for all of my flowers. I think I'm gonna go and grab a trolley now. I've done a big lap of the entire garden center. It really is incredible. I think I'm gonna go grab a trolley and start loading up. Got my loot, 
feel like I was actually quite restrained, but I've got some really cute pots here on sale, some tomatoes, and look at these lupins! Right, homeward bound to start potting Back up. Back from the garden centre now, and if you can't tell by the state of me, I am rather sweaty, I'm not going to lie to you. It was so hot at the garden centre, like particularly inside, because it is quite literally a greenhouse indoors, so it was so like close and really sticky and muggy. Saying that, I'm not, I'm not complaining about the weather because I am loving the heat wave we are having at the moment. I'm loving the sunshine and we had such a lovely day at the garden centre. We literally left at 11 and it's currently three o'clock. So we pretty much spent the majority of the day there. We ended up staying for lunch, we had a couple of drinks and there was just so much to see and do. I mean, what garden centre has goats? Like it really is the kind of place that you can just go to and spend the entirety of the day. So if you're looking for a new garden centre, if you're around the Hampshire area, it's in kind of like Otterbourne area, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking it out because it was one of the best garden centres I think I've ever, ever been to. I've never been somewhere that's just had such an insane variety of flowers. It had all of the like climbing frames it had had loads of like you know like little moving things in your garden it had so much indoor stuff there was even a clothing section if you want to go clothes shopping so it was really really lovely to spend the day there and as i said i feel like i was rather restrained i mean my credit cards are not exactly happy with me right now but i feel like it could have been a lot worse so this is my loot that i have come home with as i said feel like fairly restrained. So I'm really, really happy with myself. So first of all, I picked up some herbs. These were actually three, four, I think it was 12 pounds if I remember correctly. Um, so I've just got replacements for all of the herbs that I have in my herb pots. So I've got mint, I've got rosemary and I've got chives. And those are the three main ones that we use other than the basil as well. So if anyone has any recommendations of any other herbs that are really, really good to use for cooking and baking and things like that, do let me know. Because what I'm debating doing is putting them in in a bigger pot and then getting another one. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do there, but I've got the three herbs. I then also picked up this tomato plant, which already has a couple of ripe tomatoes. I know it's a little bit of cheating picking up a plant that's kind of already developed, but seeing as though this is my first year, I'm going to start easy. I'm not going to jump in too much at the deep end and I just want to enjoy it. Um, and the lady that I was speaking to, I kind of showed her what space I have in my trellis. I was planning originally on putting it on a pot, but she was like, oh my goodness, you definitely have enough space in your trellis for that. It's not going to grow too much bigger than this and it will kind of only last for the rest of the season. So I thought, perfect, great for my first year of veg growing. So I'm going to plant that out in my trellis along with all of the other veg that I've got. I then picked up this lupin, which is just absolutely gorgeous. They had some really Really, really established developed lupins but I figured they'd probably go quite quickly. This one's a little bit smaller and still has a few prongs that yet to bloom so hopefully that will last a little bit longer. And I don't have anything this shade of pink. I really really loved the light pink colour that it is and I really love the um the leaves. They just look so wild and wonderful. I absolutely adore that. I then also picked up two trays for my pots that are on the table because I'm currently getting the table covered in soil and water at the moment so I needed to get a couple of trays to keep them in. I don't think they're the exact colour because the pots that I actually got them from were for, from a Haskins. Um, but if they're not the same colour, it doesn't bother me at all. I like it when it's a little bit mix matched. Um, I then picked up some new gardening gloves. These are just the clip glove I believe um so some just easy gardening gloves a nice white color which I know is gonna get money straight away but nonetheless um and then I got a couple of pots which I am in love with these were actually discounted one thing one piece of advice I would always give when it comes to garden centers especially when it comes to potting up pots if you're not bothered about having matching pots always head to the sales section because there's nothing wrong with these pots they're just last season so I managed to get them at a really really good price I mean this one I think was 12 pounds and this one was 20 pounds so I'm super super happy with that and I really love how these three look together and I feel like they're going to go so so well with the rest of the pots in my garden because I don't really have a theme I mean I have a few kind of mix matching pots but I really really like it when they're all a little bit different in like shape style color I think that looks really really nice so this big bad boy here I'm planning on putting my hydrangea in I think that will work really really perfectly this bad boy I'm planning for the lupin um, and then I haven't quite decided with this one but this one was by himself he literally didn't even have a label and it was the cutest little with the like pattern on it that just had the cutest little 
kind of engraving. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Even the lady at the desk was like, oh my goodness, I've never seen this one before. So I haven't fully decided what's going to go in this one yet, but the rest of it, I feel like I have a good idea where it's going to go and how it's going to style up. Last but not least, really boring thing, but I bought a new hose because we needed a new hose. I don't like the one that we've got because I have to unwind it and it's very, very dirty. So I felt like that was a good investment to make. So I'm ready to spend the rest of the evening potting up my new babies, getting the garden a little bit sorted for this weekend for more hosting and more parties and I'm excited to spend the rest of the evening outside in the garden in my happy place so let's get going let's get potting let's get the garden looking beautiful there is a life valley City, hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told 